Hi, welcome. Welcome to the second part of the body. If you didn't watch the first part, feel free to watch the previous video about the body. So this is the body about intellectual property agreements. And if you have question about it, feel free to join the Discord and ask me a question about it. So this is in part two. Where we're going to discuss the agreements that you have in the contract. So here you see the contract. Last time we talked about article number one. So article number one is more about the definition and the definition is really important because you need to know what are you selling and what are you buying? Because if you don't know that, maybe you're paying for something that you don't have right on it. And most people underestimate this. This is really important. We talked about it in a previous video. Now you have the sales. So technically when you know what you're going to sell, what you're going to buy, you need to put in a contract. Okay, I'm selling this to you. And that's an agreement you put in here. So seller do here buy and then transfer all those rights to thing when they sign the contract. And consideration, you can also talk about that. But what I found more interesting is the representation and warranties. So um, when a seller sells something to you, seller need to guarantee or make sure that the seller is the right holder. Because sometimes people may claim that they have copyright on something, but afterwards you'll be like, hey, Where's the proof? So if you're buying intellectual property, make sure that you have that the seller have proved that they ha are the right holder of those rights because otherwise you are paying for nothing and you don't want to get scammed, right? So think about those things. So seller has the right power authority to enter into this agreement. So this is also important because even if they have the copyright, they need to have the permission to go into the agreement. Let me talk about this for a second. Think about um, a person is the owner of a company and there are other partners. And if they want to sell a part of the company where there's intellectual property involved, he needs permission from the other partners according to the um, regulation. But if he doesn't have the permission and he signed the contract, then you technically don't have contact with the company. But that also depends on the situation. So the seller needs to guarantee that he has the right. If it doesn't, then he, there's a contact breach. So that's something you need to put in it. Exclusive rights and all the stuff. He, these are standard thing, but these standard things are really important. It's not something you can forget about it and be like, hey, next time I will look at it. No, 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 no. It doesn't work like that. So these are things you need to put in it. If you want this contract, what you can do is you'll find a link in the description where you can download this contract. If you're a member, you can download it for a cheap price. So don't worry about that. And then we have attorney's fees because when you create a contract or when you negotiate with other people, if you hire an attorney or you hire a legal consultant, you need to pay the fee and you can split the fee and you can see it in here. Or when there is something with a contract and when they hire an attorney or um, a legal consultant in order to um, do what they want or what they need, then you can make an agreement to who's going to pay the cost and what are they going to pay? And this is the entire agreement. So technically, these things are standard thing, but you should um, you should have it in your contract. So you see here, this is really a basic contract. So you can start out with this. It depends on your situation if it's going to become complicated or not. But yeah. So um, what I want you to remember is that when you have a contract like this, this is the basic and you can always put things in it in order to make it more specific to your needs. That's something you need to keep in mind. What you need to know is if you have question about it, what you can do is just go on the Discord and on the Discord you can ask me question directly. If you're new to this channel and you want this contract, feel free to subscribe. And if you want this contract, in the link in the description you can find a link where you can buy this contract. If you're a member on my coffee page, you can get it for free or for a small price. It all depends on you. So let me know if you have question. I hope you guys like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.